Good morning, y'all. It's a beautiful morning here at Camp Semper Canine. I say that every day. It's a beautiful day every day, right? <laughs> Today, I want to do our garden tour for week five and a half. I guess it's it's a little over a week since uh, our week four garden. So let's get in the garden, y'all. I think I'm gonna start in the back this week. In this bed, we used to have our garlic, celery, and Swiss chard. The tomatillos have been in for a while and the super sweet 100 uh, heirloom cherry tomato has been in for a while. But I did transplant some from the greenhouse. So I have a rainbow tomato, a pink jazz, black beauty, sunrise bumblebee, and get stuffed. Oh, and over here I have blueberries tomato. And these are the only spots that I have these tomatoes growing right now so I'm gonna put some more in probably this week that I've had hardening off outside of my door and I've got to get our high tunnel up so that we can get all of those things in the ground in the high tunnel my cucumbers I noticed a couple of days ago they started looking like they were wilting a little bit um, it could just be all the water I do have some more cucumbers I bought that were on sale at uh, local nursery so I'm gonna find a spot to plant those but I'm getting some really pretty and some really ugly cucumbers on this plant here's one of the uglies this one's kind of ugly this one back here is just beautiful look at this one coming in and again you know I just uh, filmed a video about uh, being proactive and looking at your garden every day to check for pests and see what kind of problem areas you can solve and I'm gonna do some research today on these cucumber plants to see if I can figure out some ways to help perk them up a little bit and keep them productive. It may be that they've fallen off of the trellis or this trellis just wasn't a good idea for them. I don't know. Looks like Ava's been over here playing with her little fairy barn. We are gonna harvest the lettuce this week. It is just getting really hot and this lettuce is starting to feel slimy so it may just have to go so this bed when i planted it i did not expect it to be so crowded i don't know what i was thinking but i have um salsa hot salsa peppers here uh orange pepperoncini here our cucamelons in the middle and look how much they've climbed in a week they were in between here last week just amazing they're going to fill this whole trellis up here my eggplant I'm seeing some remnants of some pests but for the most part it's still pretty healthy I have a flower blooming so pretty and overall this plants looking pretty healthy I've got a couple weeds in this bed that I missed when I was weeding over the weekend and then that sunrise sauce tomato plant and then my San Marzano are looking great these are paste tomatoes so I'm gonna use these tomatoes to make spaghetti sauce pizza sauce that sort of thing here are beefsteak they are looking great got lots of fruit on this plant lots more flowers coming out and I have noticed he's not growing very tall it just could be it's getting weighted down with all the tomatoes right now make sure I'm pollinating these and I shared the other day I was looking at the um, pink brandy wine and I have a cat face tomato coming in here I'll let it keep growing just out of curiosity it'll be a pretty tomato but I also noticed um, some uh, it looks like uh, mites maybe so I need to get over here and check on this I am gonna treat with neem oil tonight we have enough delay and rain that I'll be able to do that. Oh, it's almost 80 degrees already. Yikes. Okay, so my berry bushes, whew, they are just not really going as great as I thought they would. Maybe this is a bad spot for them. I don't know. But the birds are eating the berries as they ripen. So I may have to use some, some netting over this. I do have some uh, in the tiny house put up in the loft up there for that purpose my blueberry bushes are still hanging on um, 
I just don't think this is a good spot for them either. And uh, I was a little worried about my apple tree because it was looking a little rough, but it's starting to produce new leaves. So that's pretty cool. And then we have some sunflowers here on the back wall that are popping out. And like I said, uh, in a couple of videos ago, Chris has been working really hard to clear this area for the bees so that we can get our high tunnel put in right here, which I'm almost thinking like, maybe it would be better here. He will kill me if I try to tell him that we're gonna change the plan. I don't know. That's probably still the best spot. Okay, back over here, everything is growing just great. Again, I'm gonna be treating with neem oil tonight to um, try to combat some of the little munchies I'm seeing going on on some of my plants. My Kajari melons are doing fabulous back here and um, I have an artichoke. I'm so excited. <laughs> I've never grown artichoke before, so this is really exciting for me. I thought this plant died and I've been babying it a lot more than the other plants. I don't typically, I mean, I check for pests and I am proactive in trying to treat them, but I don't like handhold a lot of my plants and this artichoke I definitely did. Uh, we've got some midget golden, golden midget watermelon growing, a noodle bean. My Brussels sprouts are still doing great despite the heat. These are the new tomato plants that I planted, chocolate sprinkles. They've been in for about a week now. They're looking great. All these peppers I planted are looking great. Look at all the flowers on these candy cane peppers and they are so pretty. I have one over at the house that's in a container that's already developed a pepper and they are just beautiful. I can't wait to taste it to see how they taste. And I've got a little one coming up on this gypsy sweet pepper. My cabbage is still doing great despite the heat. My okra that has made it through. I saw a white moth. Anyway, I'm going to be treating this with neem oil tonight as well. I'm going to be checking all of the leaves for eggs. And um, I don't know how much longer until these things are going to be ready for harvest. They're just kind of growing slow. Okay, our cherry tomatoes, they are growing up this trellis. They are doing fabulous. We've, we've already harvested some of the sun gold on this side. I've got some fruit set coming up on these red cherry tomatoes right here. And I'm even seeing some improvement on my pineapple cherry tomato. And this micro cherry tomato is, is coming out the door here. Um, he's got a couple of more fruit to ripen and then we will be pulling him out and I'll plant some basil in there. Got some weeds popping up too. This one's a sweet banana pepper and our Roma tomatoes starting to get their flowers. Haven't seen any fruit set on them yet. And our culapeno. We have a couple little culapenos popping out here. This one's getting pretty big. I got another one of these yesterday from the nursery and uh, I'm going to be planting it since this one died, but I'm going to plant it in a different spot because this bed's already starting to get really crowded. I just pruned all my tomato suckers and I see some on here that have already popped out in three days. Wow. Okay, our broccoli is going to get harvested this week. Probably, I'm probably just harvest it this morning. I was going to let it grow a little bit longer. But you can see that it's starting to separate and that means it's about to start to bolt. So I don't want to compromise the flavor. So we may be having a big... Um, vegetable dinner tonight because I have some squash and zucchini to harvest. Um, this is the German Johnson. He's bouncing back. I thought he was dying off a little bit. He was looking a little rough. My tomatillos, they are just going. Look at all the little lanterns I have. I'm excited to try these tomatillos. My Cherokee purple tomato plant is doing great. Lots of fruit set on this. And these tomatoes are just so pretty. They are gonna be beautiful. Can't wait. 
a curly leaf purple basil. This one is a Tabasco pepper. I know you're not supposed to plant hot peppers next to your tomatoes. Oh, I need to check on that. What's on the leaf there? But, um, you know, it'll be fine. This one is a Sunrise Bumblebee tomato plant. This, these two are dances with Smurfs. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna harvest this. Okay, I'm gonna harvest my broccoli. Well, I can't really do this one-handed. Nope, I left my tripod at home, sorry. Let me harvest this broccoli and then we'll continue the tour. Okay, so got our broccoli harvested and we're over here in our flower bed with our volunteer tomato plants and the suckers I put in from the other day that probably aren't gonna make it, but I suck them here anyway, why not? I still don't know what type of plant this is. We won't know until the fruit starts coming in because I do remember what plants I had planted here in the past. I'm hoping it's pink brandy wine. Um, dances with Smurfs, this one's still looking great after getting pruned the other day. All of my tomato plants are looking great. This one is a red beefsteak. This one is a golden jubilee. This one is sunrise sauce and I have a rainbow in the center there. And my basil, since I did some trimming on that and pruning on my basil, it is looking fabulous. I'm gonna harvest some of those bottom leaves and save those. My lemon verbena plant is doing great. That thing smells so good. I still haven't harvested any of the leaves. I've just picked up some that have fallen and used them in my tea. But they smell so good. Okie dokie. This sunflower is getting so tall right now it's almost I don't know four feet tall peppers looking awesome here's the one that I trimmed look how much growth it's gotten I think I'm definitely going to be trimming all the tops of my tomato uh, pe pepper plants from now on not my tomatoes obviously we are going to be harvesting some okra soon and I have those ones in the greenhouse that I'm gonna get ready to transplant. And the seeds that germinated from the varieties that I planted in the greenhouse, I made direct sow some as well because we love okra. And I know these okra plants will produce a lot, but we're also um, growing food to preserve throughout the year and to share with our veterans at Semper Canine and our volunteers and our friends and family. And if there's any leftover after that, then we might put up a little honor stand, vegetable, uh, vegetable market stand at the end of the driveway of the property here. I don't know. So I gave these lima beans some nitrogen. I gave them some blood meal. It seems to be helping. I haven't noticed a lot of pests on them. Here are some ants. Looks like they're eating the aphids, but it looks like they may be harvesting them. So I need to come check that out this afternoon. All in all, the lima beans over here are looking, looking okay. So, I mean, considering they got flooded twice before I was able to build this raised bed area around them. And they are, you know, they say not to plant your beans and your tomato plants together obviously I haven't gotten any produce off of either but they're doing okay together and I think it may just be because I'm on top of things with them and I'm just making sure that they are doing great we have fruit set coming in on these tomatoes over here it's always exciting when something you plant from seed um, starts to produce fruit and when you harvest the fruit it's just so satisfying these were started from seed in February, so it's, it's just exciting to see. Our potatoes are still doing great. This last little bit of rain we got really gave them a kick. They were already growing like weeds anyway, though. And then I'm going to do some checking on this little bit 
here and see what's going on. It may just be that they just popped up out of the out of the soil and they're just going to get some new growth. But I haven't seen any of them looking like this before, so we'll check on we'll check on that. I'll do some research. Okay, we're over here in our squash bed where I do have some beans in here. They have a little damage on the beans. I'll spray those this evening with neem as well. And I do have a, a Black Beauty zucchini to um, to harvest. I put this ladder mesh up last night. Um, I just hooked two of them together with zip ties. I mean, it's not super sturdy, but I mean, look, our this beans already grabbed on and is going up. It it's not super sturdy, but I figured just for a, a couple of bean plants, it would be fine and it'd be pretty. And these things were three bucks a piece, so this was an easy, inexpensive little trellis idea that didn't take Chris and I having to cut hog wire or cattle panel to get to it. Um, green beans, I, I, I gave them some blood meal the other day. I worked it into the soil. I still see some down there. Um, so I have noticed that their coloring is starting to perk back up. They were turning yellow. I'm seeing a little bit of new pest damage, not a lot. Oh, look at that. You little heifer. Gots to go. Look at the flowers. I love bean blossoms. They are beautiful and magical. I just love them. But I am going to spray with the neem oil tonight. Uh, all of my beans. I'm going to get them really good. But these are looking great. I still have some yellowing down here, but that's old leaves and I'll probably pick those off. Um, also, we'll, we'll be treating these plants even though they're looking, they're looking pretty healthy. I've seen a couple of um, insects on them. Um, I just when I shot my pest video a second ago. Oh, I see some droppings down here of something. I, um, oh, and some baby beans. So exciting. I found a cucumber beetle right here just eating on the leaf. So I eliminated him, but it was just interesting. He was right there while I was talking about them. Look at these. So beautiful such little beans. These are our Christmas pole beans. I'm really excited for Chris to try these. He's never had them, or at least he doesn't think he's ever had them. He doesn't recall. He may have ate them when he was younger. This was a pretty popular uh, crop to grow in your garden when I was a kid, and we grew up in the same town, same area. Okay, so we have our Silver Queen sweet corn, and I and I planted a row of glass gem right here down the center, and it's starting to germinate everywhere. I went ahead and planted some more zucchini. So this is griller, griller, I think. No, this is golden. Yeah, this is the golden zucchini, and this is the yellow griller. I have some green griller. This is yellow griller squash, and I have some green griller that I bought at the um, that I bought at the nursery yesterday, so I'm gonna plant those. If I can find a spot, I might have to take them home and put them in containers, we'll see. I've never container grown a squash, but I bet it would be pretty, I might try that. So these are really, really great to have in your corn patch. This corn's looking great. I'm so excited about the corn this year. Okay, so here we are in our melon and pumpkin patch. Our watermelons are really taking off this week. I've been in here training them to go certain directions. These are our Kajari melons. Look how big they're getting. And these are our um, golden midget watermelon. We be little pumpkins. I'm going to grow those up the trellis. That's going to be really pretty. Come that arch trellis right here. Then I have uh, some okra plants spread throughout. They're starting to really take off. Look at that one. I have Charleston gray um, watermelon there. I have uh, 
huge, uh, I think this is a mammoth sunflower. And then I put one of these lighter mesh trellises here just to see. Let me come around this way and show you. I put it here for, for this pumpkin. So um, it may be not sturdy enough and I'm gonna try it for the watermelons, but we'll worry about that if it, if it starts collapsing. We'll figure out and a way to, and look at this gourd. I was looking at this the other day. Look at him growing. This is a birdhouse gourd for our martin birds, future martin birds. And this pumpkin, I'm gonna, probably in a day or so, I'll be able to wrap him around and grow him this direction on this trellis that I have. May have to come up with better solution for the pumpkin next year. Look at that white bloom. Or is it, let me step in here. Oh, that's coming. Oh, that's coming from a gourd. Look at that. So pretty. Maybe it'll be open in the morning. Oh, look at here. Hi. Hello. Thank you. Pretty. It's my favorite time of year in the garden. I love watching things change every day. All right, let me get back out of here without killing anything. All right, our beans over here, doing great. We've been training them up. Don't have any beans coming yet, but my pinto beans, I might have some back there on the pinto beans because they were blooming first. And I noticed the other day, I was trying to plant some loofah and I dropped some seeds and I couldn't find them. It was kind of getting dark, but I have some loofah growing. So this is loofah, loofah, loofah. So we're gonna leave it and try to grow it up the side of this. I was trying to, I was actually trying to see if it would grow down in here. Um, and I was going I put some around the, um, the chicken coop here to try to grow up on the side there. Oh, you know, I haven't gone and checked all my hops over or my trees. I need to do that this evening in the other part of the, in the memorial garden that we have growing back over this way. I put some, a weeping willow, some red buds. We got to weed this bean, bean patch. Okay, let's go harvest um, some zucchini. So I always see the gardeners I follow on YouTube um, drink your coffee in the morning. I drink sweet tea. I've always got a cup of sweet tea. So good. I'm one of those weird people that does not like coffee. Ooh, I see a little red bloom coming out on a nasturtium. Let's go look. Ooh. Oh, that was a new crow. That was a new crow. Not that one. <laughs> Strawberries. We were checking these out last night. Our little white chicken has started to grow. I don't know what breed he is. I thought he might be like a white leghorn, but he's too small. He's over there. I don't know if you can see him. He's actually on top of the other hen house. Let's see if he does it again. No, nope, he's sitting down. That was the little rooster Cogburn. Here he goes. <laughs> so cute. He's the last one that hadn't started growing. This is the first day I'm hearing him grow. And that's Clayton, poor Clayton. He just sounds like he's dying. That's Rooster Cogburn. That's the little colorful chicken we have, the Bantam. There's the white one, he doesn't have a name. Okay, back to the strawberries. So last night, the kids and I were looking at all our strawberries. We've got some beautiful ones coming in here and our 
cantaloupe's doing great. And I, that little nasturtium was a surprise this morning. But we have some zucchini to cut. So I'm going to be harvesting these two gray zucchinis. And I have at least two golden zucchini that I'm going to harvest. I could probably let these go a little longer. But, um, but I am going to go ahead and harvest them. And there is a bumblebee down in that female plant along with some ants. Oh, and there's some ants down in here in this female flower too. Um, hopefully they're not going to cause any problems. But let's get this uh, zucchini harvested and I'll go get that green zucchini too. So I could probably let this zucchini go a little longer. It is the length of my hand. But um, since we're going to be cooking tonight, I'm going to go ahead and, and harvest this guy. This is the only one that I have right now. So crazy that this one is this far advanced. I have lots of yellow going on over here. We're going to have tons of yellow squash here soon. Um, but this is the only green zucchini that I have. And it is beautiful. Look at that. It's going to be delicious. So again, I could probably let these go another day or two, but I have so many coming that I really would rather just get it harvested because I still have one left over from last week. This is really hard to do one-handed. I left my tripod at home. And like I said, these could probably go, oh, look at that. I'm not sure, I think those are ladybug eggs, maybe. Maybe not. Something has laid their eggs here. I will research that too to see. And then I will know to start checking underneath the, my fruit. If it's a pest. And if it's a friend, I will wait a little bit longer to see if I can get them to hatch. But for right now, they're going to go. So I'm actually going to leave this one. Uh, when I got to looking at it, it is a little smaller than I thought. So I already have another golden zucchini at home. I'm just going to get these gray zucchini and cut off the ones that are dying and call it a day on my harvest. Oh, and I'll harvest those little tomatoes too. Okay, y'all. So that is the end of our garden tour for week five and a half. <laughs> Um, I hope y'all enjoyed learning about what we have growing in the garden. Here's our harvest for today. Not a lot, but it will be delicious and it will definitely be good for our bodies. So y'all have a wonderful Monday. Have a great week and I will see y'all next time. Bye y'all.